Hi, in this video I'll demonstrate how to run serial mediation analysis with process. Model 6 will be used in serial mediation analysis. So this is the typical model which is used for running serial mediation analysis. If you see here, we have two mediators M1 and M2. Y is the independent variable and X is the independent variable. And we are interested to find out the indirect effect of X on Y through M1 and M2. Right. So as far as the uh, demonstration is concerned, in this demonstration I will use this model. This model has been taken from a study by Yildiz 2016. This model has four variables. Loneliness is the outcome variable, mean the dependent variable. Mother attachment to be abbreviated as MA is the independent variable and there are two mediators. General belongingness mean GB, life satisfaction mean LS. As the data is concerned, data has come from 395 students who are studying in different universities of Islamabad and Rawalpindi, cities of Pakistan. Convenient sampling has been applied. Now coming to uh, the application of uh, serial mediation analysis in process, you see this is our data set. So straight away go to menu bar and click analyze. So then regression and then you click he here process and uh, reset. So first select the model number. So I'm going to pick model number six at the serial mediation analysis now uh, in the first box we have to place the outcome variable mean the dependent variable which is loneliness let's take it here in independent variable we have ma mother attachment and here we have to place the predictors we can place up to four uh, mediators here so model in model 6, we can accommodate as many as four serial mediators. So the GB is the first mediator and LS is the second mediator. Come to the options. In options, I choose uh, effect size, so then total effect, and then finally compare indirect effect. And decimal, I'm going to choose 3. Just click it OK. And... Uh, here are the results. So you see here the first table shows the summary. So model number is 6, y is uh, loneliness and x is mother attachment and mediator 1 is gb and mediator 2 is ls. Here you see in the first table you see we have one predictor that is mother attachment and one outcome variable that is gb general belongingness and if you look at the uh, model so yeah here you see so we have excluded these two variables and we have to we have examined impact of ma on gb and uh, uh, you see here it is statistically significant in in second model you see here In second model, we have two predictors. One is GB and second one is MA. And whereas uh, outcome variable is life satisfaction. If you look at the model here. So life satisfaction, the, uh, the outcome variable, these two are the uh, predictors. And both are, you see, statistically significant predictors of life satisfaction. In third model, you see, outcome variable is loneliness and uh, predictors are all three variables you see so loneliness is the outcome variable these three are the predictors and if we look at the results you see here uh, so the GB is not statistically significant whereas uh, LS and MA they are statistically significant the effect of all these are negative on loneliness. 
In the next model we see here, we have only one predictor that is MA and one outcome variable that is uh, loneliness. Means we have excluded both mediators and we have, uh, are going to examine the effect of independent variable on the dependent variable only. So that would give us the value of total effect. So, so here is the total effect is negative and is statistically significant. So the same value has been extracted here. You see here 0.453 and is statistically significant. As a direct effect is concerned, it has been extracted from th this table where all variables are included. You see here the effect of MA. So 0.3456, th this value has come here. In the next table you see, we have uh, the statistics of indirect effects. So here you see in this table we have three indirect effects, indirect effect 1, 2 and 3. So if you want to see the description of these three indirect effects, so the scroll down you see here, so these are the uh, uh, descriptions. Indirect effect 1 is uh, the effect of MA on loneliness through GB means here you see the effect of MA on loneliness through GB this one to so excluding second variable so this one so if you look at this value uh, so you see here so so this is statistically non-significant reason is that uh, so the, this is the lower value and this is the upper value. So the zero falls between these two values. This is minus, this is plus. Since zero falls between these two values, so we say, so the indirect effect of one is statistically non-significant. So that would mean the indirect effect of MA on loneliness through GB is statistically non-significant. Statistically non-significant. Uh, as far as the second indirect effect is concerned, so uh, here's the description. You see, uh, second indirect effect is coming is serial mediation coming through all mediators. You see here, through GP as well as through LS on loneliness. So let me show you the model here. You see here the, the effect of MA on loneliness through GP as well as through LS. So as far as the this particular effect is concerned. So you see here, so this effect is statistically significant as upper value and lower value both are negative and zero does not fall between these two values. So that's why we say that the serial mediation is statistically significant. So the indirect effect uh, through both mediators is statistically significant. Okay. Now coming to the indirect effect 3, so here is the description again, so you see here, so MA on loneliness to life satisfaction means ignoring the first uh, mediator and the examining the effect of indirect effect of, of mother attachment on loneliness through life satisfaction. So let's see whether this is statistically significant or not. So indirect effect 3 is also statistically significant. So we find that indirect effect 1 is statistically non-significant whereas 2 and 3 are statistically significant. C1, C2, C3 these offer values of contrast. Contrast means the effect of uh, the difference between these two indirect effects. The description is given below here. In this table you see here C1 measures the indirect effect 1 minus indirect effect 2. C2 is uh, uh, the difference between indirect 1 and in 3 and C3 uh, we get uh, through. So you see here uh, 2 and 3. Right, so indirect effect 2 minus indirect effect so let's see so the whether these indirect effects are statistically significant or not so c1 you see here so 
uh, lower value is in minus and upper value is positive so zero falls here so so we can say so it's not statistically significant so the mean the difference between indirect effect one and indirect effect two is not statistically significant so mediating power of one and two model so that's not statistically significant coming to two you see here so again it's not statistically significant as zero falls between th these two values and the same is the case with c3 so in other words we can say that the indirect effects the three indirect effects they do not st statistically differ from each other so this way how we can run serial mediation analysis by using model 6 in process Thanks for watching.